Welcome back to Fallout 4. We've just left Vault 111 after spending who knows how long in cryostasis. And it's time to see what's left of the world and go back home and see what's left of our home. I've made a couple tweaks since the last time I played. I disabled mouse acceleration and I also increased the field of view. So it should look a bit better. Uh, hopefully a bit less kind of nauseating to look around. I'm still amazed how good this game looks. Again, not that it looks amazing, but it does look pretty damn good. So many skeletons, there's some sort of a skeleton massacre. Hmm. Oh, got some right away. I don't know if that's rust or blood. Stim pack, right away, blood pack. Oh, what's the blood pack do? Let's see. Is there a description? Inspect? Oh, wrong key. Does it actually say what it does? HP 50. Oh, so I guess it restores 50 HP. Maybe it's a better version of a stim pack. That restores 30%. Oh, stim pack restores 30% of HP. Blood pack restores 50, 50 HP. So an absolute value. This is a relative value. This is an absolute value, I guess. Hmm. No surprise, it doesn't work anymore. I really like the feeling of this place. I feel so... lonely and sad. Let's see if there's anything hidden inside these vehicles. Anything to loot. If I'm gonna survive in this world, I need to scavenge. <laughs> I can even pick up the fan. What am I gonna do with a fan? Oh no, I'm standing on a skeleton. I'm sorry. Thought you could hide from me, Cram. Come here. I'm gonna cram you in my inventory. Is this the people out? The people that were just waiting right outside trying to get in? That's them, isn't it? Because they would have died within minutes after we saw them. They would still be here, I suppose. They would have gotten hit by the blast, the shockwave. I guess they were just left here. Silt bean. Can do some crafting later, I suppose. Now, where's the Nern root? keep my gun out just in case and hey is that a friendly robot that's not our old servant is it still running As I 
Codsworth? My god, Codsworth, you're still alive? You're still running? Codsworth, you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you'll need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers. Or perhaps Shiraz. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Cosworth doesn't want to believe it. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. It's been 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mom. Jesus. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. At times, people will withhold information or caps. You can attempt to persuade them into sharing both. Oh, is that what the yellow option is? The difficulty of successfully persuading someone is indicated by color. Yellow, easy, orange, medium, red, hard. Okay. Well, we've got pretty good charisma, so I guess looks like my shot at this working here, is pretty good. You know. Codsworth, you're acting... A little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And... Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Poor Cosworth, I'm sorry. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were were dead. I I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Hi, honey. Added. Oh God, that's going to be heartbreaking. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. <laughs> We're not gonna find him here, but... Uh, sure. Alright. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum! <laughs> Can I look at the holotape on my Pip-Boy, or do I have to go to a computer to load it into it? Would be under data? Hmm, I think I might have to go to a computer. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, you go over there, Codsworth. I'll catch up in a minute. This was our place.
Whoa. You okay, Codsworth? Some rad roaches? Bloat flies. Alright, let's go with Codsworth. Make sure that he stays safe. We'll purify the neighborhood. Restore it to its former glory. Yes. We'll rebuild. Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? That'll be our first town, our first civilization. Should search around these homes and see if there's anything worth looting. Plastic pumpkin. What can I do with that? It's not apparel, is it? I want to see if that's apparel. Can I, like, wear the pumpkin on my head or something? I doubt it. It's probably junk. Yeah, I can't wear it. Dang. I wanted to wear a pumpkin. Get inside of that one. Flip lighter, duct tape, ball bean hammer. Oh, whoa. I didn't realize that was a workshop. Standard, standard, standard. Is there anything else I can do to it? Modify? Sure. Light. Reduce damage, lighter weight. Oh, no, I don't, wouldn't want to do that. Oh, my God. That's a lot of mods. None of them I can actually do anything about, though. Grip. Comfort grip. Grip. Uh, improved recoil and hipfire accuracy. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Looking sexy. What about the sights? <laughs> I don't have the adhesive or the nuclear material. Looks like I can't really do anything else. Well, looks like I'm already ready for the apocalypse. I already know how to use the workshop and modify weapons. Modding and crafting stations and workshop locations will automatically share items you stored in them, but only if you've unlocked the workshop in their location. Okay. Oh, that's specifically a weapons workbench. This is a workshop. Oh my god, what is all this? The workshop allows you to build, adjust, or remove nearby objects and structures. Move between options. Mm-hmm. You can build stuff. Are you telling me that I can scrap the barrel? Oh my god. Are you telling me I can actually, like, rebuild a freaking town? 
Look at what it says at the top. People, zero. Food, zero. Water, zero. Power, zero. Defense, zero. Bed, zero. Happiness, size. Are you telling me I can actually build a town in Fallout 4? If so, that's amazing. I didn't even know you could do that. Wow. I don't actually know how to select the other things, though. I can scrap the sign. Huh. Okay, how do I leave this escape? There we go. Hold V to open the workshop menu while in the build area. Wow, so I just activate it whenever I want. Oh my god. I can just build this, huh? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to build that. Alright, uh, perfect. Beautiful. That is exactly where I meant it to be. <clears throat> that is gonna be the shame of the entire neighborhood. I was joking when I said we should rebuild, but yeah, it appears you actually can. That is so cool. Hey, Codsworth. There must be someone who can help you in content. What do all these things on the... the navigation bar at the bottom mean? What do they mean? What do they mean? That's the Red Rocket Truck Stop. Oh, so that's a nearby location. Custom destination. Oh, I just accidentally set that. Can I clear that? Yeah, let's get rid of it. Yep, there's the vault, sanctuary, truck stop, and there's Concord. So I guess we'll hit the truck stop along the way. Let's go. To the truck stop. Such a pretty car. It's a shame it's all broken. This is seriously pretty. There's something down there. Oh. Raider got killed by the wild mongrel, I guess. Or they killed each other or something. Pipe pistol. I wonder if it's better than my current pistol. But before I get distracted with that, let's see what this is. Mm, nothing, I guess? Guess it's nothing. Yeah, I can drink water if I want. But that'll increase my radiation. Heals me, but gives me radiation. Okay, let's take a look at that pistol. The pipe pistol. Can I compare this to something? Hmm, doesn't look like it. I guess the minus minus and the plus and all that stuff, that indicates the difference between your currently equipped weapon and its stats? Yeah, it does. Okay. So, heavier, less accurate, better fire rate, way less damage. No, that thing's garbage. This music's eerie. <gasps> Dog! Friendly dog? You are a friendly dog. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy? Dog. <laughs> okay then, let's stick together. Face your dog and press E to begin issuing commands. Hey. 
Target location, object, or enemy, and press E. Wait there. Come on. This is so cool. You're my wasteland buddy now. You trying to show me something? Pistol, duct tape, lighter. Lots of random crafting ingredients. What's that do? Oh, cool! I feel safer. Of course, there's no. Whoa! That's a lot of them. Hold on. Shoot you. And let's shoot you. Got him. You're safe, dog. You're safe. Mole rats. Oops. So many dang things to loot. Like, I can loot everything. I wonder if that's a bad idea. I wonder if I'm gonna get weighed down within like minutes just because of so much junk. Cigarettes? I even took the freaking telephone. Dog, nothing here but mole rats. Let's go to Concord. Oh, those are enemies. That thing just bursted blood all over me. Ugh. Sucking from the Brahmin. Lovely creature, the Brahmin. Poor two headed beast. You okay, dog? Still enemies? We're safe. So it looks like both roads lead to Concord. Whether we go this way or that way. Let's go this way. Oh, level two. Hold tab to open perk chart. Okay. Uh, I'll be back in two hours once I've read all of this. Okay, so there's a lot to take in here. But I just want to try to give you a quick overview of how this system works. So at the top we have all of our main attributes, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Or special, as the acronym is. So we have our main stats, and how many points we have in them. So you can see I've got 5 points in charisma, 3 points in endurance, and so on. And then we have all of these things below, all these kind of grayed out things. And there are a lot of them, as you can see. The basic idea seems to be that the further you, the further you go down, the more points you need in the base stat to be able to actually get it. So you can see this, like, think of this line here of endurance. This is a line 
of abilities that require endurance here. And the first one requires endurance of one to be able to get. Second one requires an endurance of two, and so on down the line. And it's the same for all the others. This one requires charisma of one, this one charisma two, and so on. So you gain access to you gain access to the ability to actually spend points in the tree if you have enough in the base stat. And it looks like with your level up, you can spend your points in either increasing a base stat, like just straight up increasing my endurance, or spending it on an ability that is under the endurance tree. So you can do base stats or the stats that kind of come from the base stat. That seems to be the basic idea. Uh, but you can't just dump everything into one ability, because you can only get the next level of it at a certain level. So this one you can just... It, it looks like you can get any of these. I, assuming you have the requirement base stat in the beginning, um, you can spend one point into them. But if you want to increase it to the next level... So if I press Alt and show the next rank of toughness... Now it requires level 9 and an endurance of 1. So originally it just requires an endurance of 1, but if you wanted to level it up again after that, it requires level 9. So you can't just dump stats into one ability, you have to kind of, you know, spread the stats and wait until you level up a bit till you increase it again. And yeah, that seems to be it. Seems like a pretty simple idea, although it's there's just a lot to take in, there's just so many freaking abilities. So I think what I'm going to spend mine on is this. Rifleman. Keep your distance long and your kill count high. Attacks with non-automatic rifles do 20% more damage. Of course I don't actually have a rifle at the moment, but this is the sort of character that I wanted to build. As I said before, I want to go for a sniper kind of character. So long range, high accuracy, high crits. So this is exactly the sort of character I want. And there's some other similar skills, like this one. You do 20% more damage with non-automatic pistols. Same with this, 20% more damage with automatic weapons. Looks like there's the same thing for melee. So depending on what kind of character build you want to go with, that is what would decide which one you want to put that in, of course. And I want to be a rifleman, so let's go with rifleman. Pew pew! Yeah, so what would the next level be? Next level, rifles will do 40% more damage and ignore 15% of a target's armor. Gotta be level 9 to do that, though. Now I just gotta find a rifle. Maybe there's one in this building here. Probably not, but maybe. I guess people of the Wasteland aren't starving, because I'm finding food everywhere. Just boxes of perfectly good food. Hey, look at this. There's some cram. Found some sugar bombs just a minute ago. <gasps> What's that? I hear them. <gasps> Can I shoot them through the window? You buggy bastards. Where are you? Where do they go? Get them, dog. Get them. Bugs. Where did it go? It's like it just disappeared. Hold on, I just found some casual loungewear or something like that. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, laundered loungewear. Let's see. What are the stats, by the way? Oh, the jumpsuit actually does give me resistance to stuff. Eh, I'll take style over protection. Hmm... Not exactly the look I'm going for. But I'll roll with it for now. There you are. I want to search every damn building. Except most of them are boarded up. <laughs> this painting survived pretty well. It's a shame nothing else did. I 
I hear automatic gunfire in the distance. I wonder if that's just background noise or actually real people actually really shooting. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's real. That's that's very real. Uh I don't think I want to be in here. What the hell is this thing? Pulaski Preservation Shelter. Get me out of here. Thanks. Alright, what is going on? Raiders. Whoa, someone has a laser pistol. Uh, yes, three headshots. Get him, dog. Get him. You people okay up there? Looks like they were defending themselves. I think that's everyone. Wait, I see a red... I see a red dot on the, like, mini-map. Oh, here we go. Ha! <laughs> melee. Brought a melee weapon to a gunfight. Museum of Freedom. I'm coming. Let's help these people out. That is not a very good chance. When freedom calls, optional take the laser musket. Laser musket? Oh my god, that sounds perfect for my character build. God, oh. It's disgusting, but man, do I look badass doing it. Where'd that come from exactly? Oh, up there. One more level. Ooh, that's been a headshot. Exploded like a blood sausage. I think that's a reference to Wasteland 1, which I never really played. Therefore, I don't really have the right to be making references to it, but there you go. Ow! <laughs> Jesus. So much freaking gore. Ew. Oh, I just leveled up again. Whoa. Is that a flashlight? I didn't know that's how you activated a flashlight. You just hold down tab. It's a weird flashlight, though. Just like a nuclear green. I forgot how to enter the level up menu. I thought it was tab, but apparently not. How do you do it? T level up. Okay. That is like the quickest level up ever. What do I want to spend my next point on? There's a million things to do it. The path to your closest quest target is displayed in vats? That'd be nice. Stim packs restore 40% of lost health. That's also nice. What about charisma? Buying and selling prices of vendors are better. Black Widow, men suffer 5% damage in combat. 5% uh, more damage in combat and are easier to persuade in dialogue. <laughs> that would fit me. I want to be a Black Widow. Persuade all men to do my bidding. Yes. Animal friend. Hmm. Let me think about this. Ah, oh yeah, I know what I'm going to spend my points on. Locksmith. Your nimble fingers allow you to pick advanced locks. I definitely want to be able to pick locks. Let's go with that. I just found some bobby pins. I'm assuming those are used for lock picking. No more British occupation. Put to it, put with you. Join our side. You want the back name. By the crown. We'll win the war. 
Boom. We won. I feel like we're gonna get ambushed again. Hey, dog. Oh, now I can lockpick this. Move the mouse to adjust the bobby pin. A to turn the screwdriver for uh, the lock will rotate and open. Okay, this seems very familiar. Oh yeah, I've played this minigame before. Nice. Except it's kinda hard to get around the door. <laughs> Cause the floor is gone. Short pipe rifle. Finally got a rifle. Alright, let's use it. Or you just use a pull cue. Nah. Okay, let's see. Le less damage, really? A rifle does less damage? Much better range. Better fire rate, not that that matters. Better accuracy, more weight. Hmm. Seems really shitty, but let's give it a shot. I'm assuming this damage doesn't factor in the plus 20% that I get from my perk that I chose. Let's actually assign these to shortcuts. I'll make that one, and we'll make I'll make the pistol two. And stim packs. Well, who cares? We're just not going to take damage. We won't need to use stim packs, huh? Sounds good to me. Oh, huh. the standing accuracy of this is worse than the pistol. Look at the crosshairs. What about crouching? Seems worse. This thing sounds really sexy, though. I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> From nuclear kitten to murderous kitten. Color can change so much of the mood. Take the fusion core. What can I do with it? Is it worth a lot of money? Password required. Hmm, but this seems very similar to the hacking minigame. In fact, this seems like ex basically exactly the same as the hacking minigame from Fallout 3. Select a potential. Yeah, this is the same as before, I think. I do want to be a computer hacker, too, I suppose. Although, honestly, I never really liked the hacking minigame. I like the stuff you found in the computers. And I like the idea of being a hacker, but... This minigame itself is just... Meh. Bombs. Two of those letters are right. Hmm. Posts? This could be it. Oh, no. Alright. This could... Uh, I'm about to lock myself out of this thing. Saved! Nope. I broke it. Oh, but it resets after 10 seconds. That's like nothing. What does this computer actually control? Is it just another way of opening this door? Let's find out. Inner. Silks. Two of those are correct. E I. E C no. G A U N T no. Class. Only one of those matches. Tired. 
No. Skull. The S. Only one of those matches. Yeah, this is not very interesting. Still don't like the minigame. I wish they changed it. Named... No. Field 1. Only one matches. Hired 1. Only one. Hides. Only one. Could. No. Geeks. <laughs> Uh, yes, actually. There we, there we go. Unlock security gate. Yep. That was just an alternative way of opening the thing that I already opened. Well, there you go. Maybe I'll be a lockpicker instead of a hacker. Just because lockpicking is a lot more fun. Raiders. Well, that didn't work too well. Disappearing, Don't you shoot, dog. Yeah, get him. Don't hit dog with that poke you, you bastard. I don't think so. This mirror commemorates the many sacrifices of the Brit. Okay. Oh, wow, I just looked at the image. <laughs> Look at this. This is so American. What, is that an astronaut on the moon with, like, a laser gun? Ugh. <laughs> uh. From times of old, to laser guns on the moon, to power armor, patriotic. Let's see. Didn't this say optional objective pick up the laser musket? I don't see that here anymore. How come? That wasn't only outside or something, was it? I didn't, like, fail the optional part? Door to nothing. Green glow is giving me a headache. There's no way I'm gonna read the description of every single item I pick up. There's just too many things. I'm just gonna hoover up everything like a loot vacuum. Pickpocket him. Let's not. 66% chance to steal, 40% chance. Nah. Another shit to deal with. You hear that? Oh shit, they heard me. Wow, I'm not good at sneaking. Or maybe it's dog that's tipping them off. Come around the corner. Wait, is that a raider? Oh, there's not a raider. 
You're friendly. That's the musket. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Ah, huh. oh, that ain't it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Maybe. <sighs> nope. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's old Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Tough break. You don't know the half of it. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... Well, we do have one idea. God damn it. Well, let's hear it. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Whoa. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rats, and get the suit. You what? can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? I think the game just like skipped a line or something. That was weird. And I can use the minigun like a rifle. Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Hmm, I've already Look, got it. I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Looks like the subtitle's just completely broke. It's been stuck on this subtitle for like, a minute. I already have it. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. I've only been out of the vault for like a half hour and already I'm gonna show some raiders who's boss with some power armor and a minigun and holy crap I've adjusted fast Bingo. you've collected an issue of Rob Go Fun includes the Atomic Command holotape game <laughs> more holotapes to play That does look like a beautiful rifle. Careful, kid. There's something coming. And it's... it's angry. Ma'am. Now look who dog me brought to us. Dog me? Oh, is that the name of the dog? So he's your dog? Ah, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog me, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. 
He'll stay by you now. I saw it. She creeps me out. Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me. <laughs> Acting a crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. Give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way since I was a girl. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming. Drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. Can use my powers of charisma here. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more. Please. I'm oh, I failed. Sorry, kid. Damn. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you. It ain't a radar. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. You plan on dying today? No? Then move it. You talking to me? Rude. Hey. We can't just stay trapped in here. This is ridiculous. S somebody do something. Mister? Oh, God. Oh, God, why? Why, 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 why? It's not fair. It's not fair. <sighs> Poor guy. Perception bobblehead. Nice. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. Ooh. That's really good. Can I use this computer while this person's using it? Well, let's talk to him first. Sturgis. What? Don't look at me, new gal. I just fix stuff. Oh, if you try to use it, he Fs off. Yeah, it's my computer. Wait, how's he using it if it's password protected? Was he trying to hack it? Through? Okay, it's none of those. Not that. Not that. And lockout. Okay. Cool. I'm not gonna wait the 10 seconds. Bleh. Let's see if there's anything big we missed, other than fine art buried in the rubble. Ooh, cap stash. I think we're good. I wonder how much fall damage there is. Let's see. Okay, didn't take any damage from that. Whoa, it's night time. And we're taking shots. We got somebody up here! We're the raiders. I hear people dying. Where the hell are they? I saw somebody running down the street, but I don't think they were a raider. Oh, here we go. 
Jesus Christ, that dog was so loud. Oh, I've got like no H uh, AP left. Damn. Armor's been crippled, making harder. Aim uses Tim back to heal your limb. Well, oh shit, I'm about to die. Holy crap. That's a lot of aid. At least we're getting some support. Covered in blood. Now, I hope that's human blood, not yours. That's way too terrible of a chance. Not worth it. Oh! Oh! Saw that Molotov coming. Oh, another one! Oh, fuck! No! You ass! So freaking far. Dog. They really just spam those things, don't they? My flaming dog. It's a hellhound. Sound. Is there a mecha lion about to attack? Is is that a death claw? Is did I just see a person go flying like two hundred thousand feet into the air? What is even happening? Oh my fucking god! That's a death claw. <laughs> I think I need to be like level a hundred to deal with that. At least it's killing the raiders. If I hit it in the head, how much would I hurt it? Let's see. If you look at the bar at the top, it shows the health and how much hitting it in the head would take away. If you notice, it would take away like one pixel. Nah. I'm out. Oh, oh, it's, it's coming. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about, huh? I beg to differ. I think there's a lot to, oh wow. Stuff is destructible. Don't you hit dog. Dog, come in with me. Come, dog. Please don't get mauled to death by the death claw. The claws are filled with death. There we go. Whew. Wow. Wow. Let's, uh, take a blood pack. And some cram. All right, we're good. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I am going to clear Concord of Hostiles by putting the fusion core in the power armor. <laughs>